Oh, happy Friday. Blown up the shit. So just did the Brody. How to modify it? It's well having a salt bike. So I did. Whew, hang on. It's old deadlifts. 26 push ups. And the modification I had a jump rope and 50 hops. And four rounds. And as soon as I get out of the jump rope, I did one burpee. Because Brody hated burpees, just like everybody else. Got a hell of a sweat going on, but this is gonna be a yearly thing. This, December 28th, uh, tw 28th, I believe it was the day that he passed. So, December 29th at least, this has gotta be a yearly thing. So it's gonna suck, but I feel good. But, uh, got it done. Happy Friday. Welcome to the vlog. Yes, I completely agree with this because there's somebody out there with a face and they need to hit. <laughs> or there's somebody that has been feeling really low and really down and a, and a, and a chop to the chest would just warm their freaking heart. But anyway, it's, it's Saturday. We ain't doing any, well. We're playing Unstable Unicorns. If you've never played that game, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. Now, did I try playing this before? I think you might have won. I did because you walked me through it because I don't know shit about fuck. You're I'll welcome, you Cortland. Through. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, oh, and the eagle thing, it would try. It's not going to happen. Y'all are just going to have to deal with some adult language. I'm going to have to get hold of Drake Jackson. He's going to have to put the disclaimer on the beginning of this. Uh, it's not like we go like overboard and crazy like they do on the. It's not the Waddell Show podcast anymore. What the hell is it? The 3CK? Three, three, three Count, count Killers? Killer. Uh, something or other. It, it's on, you know, subscribe to the Patreon. You'll get all kind of access to stuff like that and, you know, the, the podcast. I don't know what to call it now, so we're going to just call it the podcast. But anyway, um, I'm getting ready to run to the gas station that is no longer have flap doodle on it. What the oh, fuck? I. It's a good thing you recorded it when you did it, yes? I, yeah, I mean, still as a tribute to it. I mean, I'll put it at the end of every episode just because nobody's going to forget. Um, but yeah. It's going to be boring without any wrestling, but we're going to try to make it work. I'm going to get some caffeine. Probably maybe some snacks because I'm fat and I'm starving. And what was it? Those tombstone sticks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's going to happen. And then I have to edit the vlog before this because I'm behind. That's what happens. I have to super clean because people are coming over for New Year's. So. Yeah, she gets to hang out on New Year's. I stupidly have to go do the shoot. Which is stupid. I could go the next morning. I'm going to be fucking miserable. Well, at least you have to go the next morning and not day of. Like, I go in in 2023 and come out 2024. <laughs> Bullshit. But... Whatever that, and I've actually got a short week because they stupidly didn't schedule me as much. So we might get a little bit more vlogging in, and hopefully one big thing happens and positively happens. Being super serious on that one, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm gonna give you some stuff, and we're gonna do some. I don't know. I got a. We had a couple of unicorns. I don't know. We might just kind of throw in randomly. I don't know. This is boring. Is it three minutes too long of random and ass bullshit? So I'm going to get some food. Okay, bye. I've been doing well just doing nice talks. I'm going to be doing creative industry changing. That's how we come into this. We were watching. We took a break from Survivor to watch the newest season of Ink Masters. Amazing artists. Like, really, really, really good. And we're down to the final three. And there's this one guy. Is it Frank? 
Frank or Frankie? What his name is? Freddie. Yes. Freddie, my bad. We're literally watching it and I couldn't figure out his name. Um, wow. And he's British. He definitely looks like the punk tattooed version of Vanderpool. And he doesn't say tattoo. He says tattoo. No D. Now you say it. Tattoo. I hate it. So Ink Master's awesome show. Definitely, definitely love it. But I hate it at the same time. I want more tattoos done. But tattoos cost money. And guess what? A couple of brocos over here. Any bust? Hey, y'all can help us out with mermaids and Twinkies. Hook us up with some tattoo money. <laughs> I've got a cash app. I'll leave right there. And I'm sorry, my nose is stopped up, so I'm trying to blow my nose at the same time. But happy Saturday. So this is gonna be a night. Uh, probably gonna be a lot of foul language, so I ain't even gonna try to attempt to uh, eagle all these. I don't have to mute your finger. That's fine. Or this might be the uncensored version. I don't know. But all these yahoos over here. Uh, you're going to play Unstable Unicorns. And it's going to look backwards because it's on a freaking video. But uh, shit's going to get real. I'm not sure what it is. That is fucking cards. <laughs> Cheating board. Jesus. So when you asshole, let's go slow fuck. They're mean to me. Want to sacrifice us as a baby? What the fuck? So now you can't get back. Look at my baby. Took the baby. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this motherfucker this time. Damn it. You still gotta sacrifice one of those. Only the one. Fucking two. You using that goddamn thing this time? Acting like your sister over here. Man. <laughs> John. Every <laughs> time the unicorn enters, he leaves Pull your stable. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I was getting her ask if we were lining it up a little bit. Before, but I appreciate that. My bad. Thank you, John. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was a fun one. Yeah. Well, happy Wednesday. It's been an eventful one already. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But we're in Vincennes, Indiana. My old stomping grounds, I guess we could say. The drive Sucked. to here is horrible. It's because just straight. I worked, I worked last night. And then we drove and I was very tired. Very, very, very tired. We made it almost halfway. I was actually uh, pretty proud. Yeah, but. Uh, Except I was just dozing off and I was all comfy and taking my nap. And, and then my <laughs> eyes got really heavy, really quick. It's not a good combination. If you're tired, pull over. If you have somebody with you, switch. Tag, hot tag. And then she can take it home. Anyway, well, we're not taking it home yet. We're taking it right here to this. It's the Antique Collectibles place in Vincennes. It's been a long time since I've been here. And they had some kind of cool stuff. They've got antiques. They've got... It says toys really big for us adults in this car who uh, like it more than children. It's yeah, just a little sad. Well, it is what it is. I have figures. You have Legos. And Pops. And Pops. And but, random... I do have you a lot of. Show my Pennywise, Pennywise yeah, Pikachu. The Pikachu really Pennywise. Cute. We'll throw that guy right in. 
here. He's so cute. <laughs> Creepy little fucker. Anyway, oh, hoot and a half. Jesus, had some really good spicy chicken sandwiches. But anyway, we're gonna go in here and look around a little bit, kill some time. We're here, so we might as well do something. So let's go take a look. It's a nice little shop. It's not bad. <laughs> hey, I'm doing it. Uh, not a bad little shop. Some cool little stuff. You found a little something for your mom. Um, but had some had some toys in there. Not a lot. Not a lot. But I mean, I'm off today. I'm off tonight. I'm off. You're off today. <laughs> and those toys are okay. But I know where, I know where we can find some better ones. But first, I completely forgot something. If you want to crack that sucker open. So I've been liking this Prime stuff here lately. Logan Paul, what are you doing? You're turning me. I don't like it. What is this one even called? Um, this one starts with... Glowberry. Glowberry. The it's fuck's green. a glowberry taste like? We're we about to find out. So, I, I've been on the, well, the Rocket Pop looking one with the red, white, and blue. Uh, it's really good. I like it. I don't like it. If it hits you weird like that, more than likely, like I'll it. like it. That's, can't tell if it's green or if it's just a label. I mean, it's not bad. I just don't like it. <laughs> like some kind of cucumber. That's probably why I don't like it then because I freaking hate cucumbers. Oh, 10% coconut oil. Oh, coconut oil. I don't like coconut either. That's probably why I didn't like it. Gluten free, caffeine free, glow in the dark, charge in the sun. Look at them trying to get fancy. Um, should you eat or digest things that glow in the dark? Like, what is, is your poop glow in the dark? The mine is. You'll have Normal to and chill. Turn the, no, not if you drink that. If you're uh -oh. drinking glow in the dark stuff, <laughs> it took like me a second. Like, mine's good. Light, you need to turn the lights out and see if your poop is glow in the dark after you drink that. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I never wanted to be a scientist so bad in my life, but like he, gonna do some like experiments. How? Like, how do you drink? I mean, hey. <laughs> That's true. But anyway, uh, one other little order of business before we make our venture to the uh, best toy store in all the land. Um, I have it on good authority that this is Wednesday, January 3rd. Mm -hmm. I get a gimmick. I cut myself. Anyway, next Tuesday, January something or other, I have it on good authority and so does my stomach. I had a gut feeling that if you follow me on TikTok at Monster Hunter underscore Bo Sawyer, just like it is right there, a certain thing and a certain person will be coming back. He's been on a little bit of a hiatus, but I got a, uh, I got some snail mail the other day. Said that uh, he was tired and ready to come back home, but which is stupid because he lives in the backyard. Uh, Cody's coming back. Tough shit Tuesdays. Next Tuesday. Get ready. And just like that, we're in Evansville because right behind me is the greatest toy store in the world. That's, that's ranked pretty high. Yeah, it's, it got warm. No, it got warm. It's going to get warm in there too. And then you're going to have to carry it around. That's why, like, I love my mom got me this, uh, sweet chicago bears hoodie for christmas but this blue shirt as you can see i'm like cheeto printed because it's left as mark but anyway 
Uh, oh, that was good. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. All right, let's go look at some toys. So looking through all these figures, all of these figures, and we were trying to recreate history. Uh, show part number one. Oh. I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah, pick him up. So, okay. One of the one of the greatest figures. The Eddie Guerrero, I'm your poppy figure. And but now you can create. You can create. That's little, That's little dumb. So, the bad thing is we've been looking and looking. I spent way too much time looking for it. Cannot find a Rey Mysterio figure. So, Kesty and Dominic belongs to Eddie by default. Because... Ray, we can't find you. So I had a little bit of luck. I found Bam Bam Bigelow with the ECW Heavyweight title. Found it. So, found what? He showed up. Dude, you're way late. <laughs> you're supposed to be dressed like Batman. And you were... Oh, I'm sorry. We Eddie's... We really looked for this. And for we really like did. 30 minutes. And it was right up at the top. Right up front. The whole time. Well, it's too late now because Dom Eddie's your poppy. So finishing up at Evansville Toys and Games, uh, not like a huge haul or anything, but we got a we got a few things. I got my Bam Bam Bigelow with ECW title. Excuse me, my stomach is going nuts. Yeah, I got Trish to go with my she hair. found yeah, she found Trish, and that's out of like the pack you see at Walmart. It's got like her and uh, China. I but China. no, no need China. So no offense to China. Um, and most importantly, I was so excited. This was great. Oh, American badass. Pop. Needed this version. I specifically said if we find this version today, then we'd have to get it. It was up on a shelf, and she was like up on her tiptoes, like trying to jump <laughs> to it. <laughs> it was like a little kid trying to go, to the, you know, saying you need to go to the bathroom or something. But. So, I'm excited because that's my favorite one. Yeah. Like, Undertaker's my favorite, but that right. version was when I was biggest into it, and I always wanted to ride a motorcycle to the ring, and I actually and got to do it, to do and that. I got entrance of the year, and I'm so excited. Yep, I'll buy her some. It was literally the coolest thing I've ever done. Yeah. So, we got what we wanted to get, and now we're going to get something else. CC's. We're going to CC's. We're going to be some fat kids, so stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thor's Day. So I stopped at the old Flapdoodle Weber's. I don't care if it's not on the side of the building anymore. It's still Flapdoodle. So stopped to get gas because the light's about to come on. And the old gal that's at the corner at the uh, counter uh, every time always tells me have a good day and everything. And she saw my shirt. And it's Freddy's Sleeping Pills. Uh, side effect may be fatal. <laughs> Well, she sees this part, Freddy's sleeping pills. Guess doesn't think anything of it, just thinks of some kind of advertisement. It's like, man, I need me some of them. I was like, well, I bet you'd sleep pretty good. I'm like, yeah, I bet so. There's all kinds of new things out in the world today. <laughs> yep. So don't go get you some Freddy sleeping pills. Just, just saying. Okay, this is pretty cool. So, I had a hell of a great uh, arm workout a little while ago. It's January 5th. So, January 5th, 2004 was a different day for me. That was the beginning. It was the first time I stepped in a ring. <laughs> I listened to his car alarm go off. But, uh, yeah. First time I, I uh, stepped into a ring. I'd done some, like, little backyard stuff uh, prior. But... <laughs> It was my first time getting in. It was almost my last time because I got hurt like immediately. The uh, genius who decided he was going to train me decided to give me a top rope superplex for my first bump and said, you got to take the biggest bump possible first and all the rest are easy. Don't listen to that advice. But uh, this thing on my lip is going to drive me nuts too. So sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, 20 years ago. <laughs> Unfreaking real. I'm still here, still doing it, feeling good. 
feel pretty damn strong and uh haven't broke my body yet but <laughs> yeah let's just say like and i'm not like the biggest hardcore person ever like i know that might be a lot of things like guys are so hard on their bodies because they kill themselves literally trying to get noticed and do all these unreal incredible insane you know bumps or getting hit with you know light tubes barbed wire all this other crazy shit and i've like not like what if it's time for it you know let's go but i'm pretty fortunate i've done a whole lot of that stuff but anyway character work that's what it's all about and that's what i love to do and hey i'm not saying here's the 20 more because i don't think i got 20 more in me good lord uh in life yes but not like in wrestling wise like i want to stay involved whenever it is time for me to hang it up but the way i'm feeling that's still going to be a long long ways off so uh buckle up and enjoy the ride we're still going Ah, uh, long, long Friday. I am exhausted. We just got done eating. We had, <coughs> there's that, of course. We had stuff we had to go do. <coughs> it was not fun. Um, but we did go to Livermore and help set up for the show tomorrow. Uh, reloaded in Livermore. Usually I tell her to say it, but. I would never yeah, I didn't point to. I got a new poster for my wall. You got a new poster. Um, yeah, I really got nothing. We're watching season twenty-seven of Survivor now. Is it? Or is it twenty-eight? I think it's twenty-eight. No, this is twenty-eight. Yeah, my bad. Season twenty-eight. But I might make it through. I might not. He's not like my between... eyes are heavy. All I had to do was warm up the meat for his sandwich. Mm -hmm. It took a minute and 30 seconds. By the time I got back over here to tell him it was warmed up, he My was asleep. Was <laughs> so he was I snoring with his eyes fucking open in the car. Like, snoring. And I look over and his eyes are open. He's yeah, like, why shooting. are you staring at me? Because you were snoring. <laughs> you gotta be shooting on me, brother. Damn. <laughs> Anyway, so that's going to be the rest of our night. And uh, oh, there's that. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with everybody when we get ready for Reloaded tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, I've already had a little art project today. Kind of a fail. It didn't work. It I'm didn't... trying to draw in him. <laughs> so, the defuzzification. I haven't shaved in a couple weeks because we haven't had any shows. But she tried her little... So oh, sweet. it's funny you wear that yeah. shirt. Literally... It's it supposed to look like. She was trying to and just my... And then I gave up and then I tried to do a heart. And tried doing a heart. It <laughs> no, it just looks like you know, a member of Cobra. But... Is what it is. Try to have fun with it, but my back would have been a much better choice because there's a lot more room. But it's not as thick on your back. Yeah, Chest this patch is gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> but um, so today in Livermore, we have reloaded. There you go. So we're gonna get this one of these days. We're not complete professionals, but I think you really this gimmick on my lip. Oh, I think she just she punched me. Anyway. <laughs> So we got to start getting ready. I already started kind of getting ready. We got a little sidetracked. But um, let me get this done. I'm going to wear my uh, my big boss man shirt today. The one that says Cobb County uh, Corrections Facility on it. Oh, you know. So, I don't know. Now she's going to tell me what to do. You put a ring on her finger and they think they can tell you what to do. Why am I not? Do you not remember? Lizzie Six wins immunity. Oh, shit. Fuck. All the eagles. This is what you're wearing. First show of the year. 
<laughs> like impossible. <sighs> One of two things were gonna happen. Either I was gonna tear my shoulder out of socket or I was gonna rip this thing. I would well, rather you it survived, rip this. you didn't rip. <sighs> I'm gonna have a good day. I'll be so glad to get my gear on. You're gonna be so sweaty. And my face. I should turn the heat on so fucking high. Why would you be a dick like that? It's your fault. A little six thinks I should do it. It's your fault. No, absolutely not. But at least it's not October, and hopefully I won't get shot at, even though we're in Kentucky. So. You're gonna shoot at him? What a jerk. I'm a carload of jerks. Yeah, reindeer. You know what? I'm a nice guy. I got you. What? What's special about those? Sour cream nothing. I think he likes it. If he doesn't, he's going to. I'm buying it for him. Okay. I mean. All right, in the building, a little bit different. We're in Livermore, but it's we're in a little different location. Things got moved a little bit, but uh, it's not bad. It's gonna take a bit to get used to. I'm fine, but I'm very well insulated. So, and I got rid of my uh, my deer. Uh, somebody else wanted it. No, I didn't cheat. It was just somebody had said that they wanted it. And I was more than happy to let them have it. <laughs> Luckily, I brought other pair of pants. Yeah, I should have stolen them. My pants? Yeah, so you can change. You what a dick. Them. But, eh, you know what it is. But, yeah, so that happened. I wore them here. That was the bet. <laughs> I know. So I did. But now... You had to wait in the gas station. That would have been the worst part for me, so... Right, nobody pulled a gun on me, so we're fine. But I'm so... Fuck. I'm so hungry. I'm such a fat ass. Where are they at? I need those. You need those. You better save me at least one, and when you open those, everybody's going to want one. No, because only one person got delegated that can have them. Yeah, but we're gonna share it. Why not? Might be baby face out there when it comes to food. I ain't no baby face. I'm straight up heel. I'm stone cold fucking killer when it comes to food. Get him. Hey, so fast forward. We're already done with the show. Way done with the show. But the good thing is, number one contenders. Hell oh, yeah, we didn't even rehearse saying that shit. But I still got most of my face, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah, well, you know. But apparently we gotta get ready to go clean up. So let's go clean up. Yeah. Good good show. A lot of fun. Uh Wow. Just that was a really good way to start off the year, I think. Um I still have a lot of face paint. I don't know how. You just have the one chunk off your head. I just got one little bitty chunk, but like I'm happy with this. I'm not smearing. I didn't have a match. So. You didn't have a match, but you put the fear of God in somebody. Anyway, uh, we're going to do some hangs, and we'll uh, finish the thing up tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, and here's the thing. If you come to the shows, and hopefully this will be out before, I don't know, like Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Pre-orders for the Warwolf shirts. Uh. She's such a jerk. Anyway. They're still go. Oh, <laughs> fa, fa too. Who we? Anyway, yes, you're welcome. God. That would have some bite. Ah. <laughs> right in the old nostrils. It's <laughs> probably that goddamn burrito that. <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus. And the bad thing is I can't roll my window down. It's true. God. Don't make my face paint run. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, good lord, I'm about to. Um, so anyway, what I was saying, the Warwolves t-shirt, we, we are still pre-ordering right now. Livermore, if you didn't get your chance and you go to the Bowling Green show next Saturday, January 13th. That's too far from now. It, for it's me this coming happen. Saturday, so we'll put it that way. That's Bowling Green. You can pre-order your shirt there. Or in Litchfield towards the end of the month. 
uh, at the National Guard Armory in Litchfield. You can pre-order there, which we are going to be start doing shows in Litchfield monthly. So it's not like no, it's going to be. Either, Litchfield's a cool place. Like we'll be in the armory, so it won't be quite how it was in the uh, in the I big like school. The school though. We're going to do two big events. In the locker room. It was yeah, amazing. that was kind of nice. Um, so there will be two big events there in the school um, later on this year, but monthly we'll be in the uh, the Litchfield uh, National Guard Armory. But right now we're going to go hit the uh, the national uh, food choice of everyone. I want McDonald's. You I'm want just, McDonald's? I want Taco McDonald's. Bell. Um, I'm a Taco Bell kind of mood. Like I want either nuggets or something. I don't know. And my arm's getting really tired. But anyway. I'm gonna do that, do some hangs, and uh, we'll finish up tomorrow. And hopefully, we'll have a special message from somebody very loved. Hey everyone, Stuntman Mikey here with my safety tip of the week. And I want you to remember that when it comes to crack, just don't do it. And always remember. Safety first. Sunday. Yeah, fingers all up in my eye. Anyway, very, very fun night last night that I remember. Uh, got up this afternoon. I won't say this morning because we got in very, very late. You, I, look, we didn't go to bed till five, but I had to wake up at nine, ten. I shot for nine. Hmm. I didn't get up till 10, so it was a little late dinner, but it was fun. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, very, very fun night. Um, I look like I still have pain on me a little bit. I still got hearts, though. But you still got hearts. Um, got up today, and I had forgotten I was doing a podcast. Uh, so be listening. Uh, I'll shoot the link and like share it and everything. The Whoop Ass Podcast is kind of a cool name. Uh, if I'm just a little general talk, getting to know the person and like what they're into, all this kind of stuff, and a lot of wrestling and a little bit of Marvel, a little bit of like cryptid, <clears throat> you know, uh, like supernatural talk. So it's fun. It's a cool little, cool little chat. Um, we're not doing anything now. I'm still, I, God, my eyes are like, like high or something. Anyway, um, so here we're just doing our normal thing, watching Survivor and yeah, playing with Chloe to play or something. Yeah. Like to play face with me, but yeah. this is Minecraft and some crap right yeah, now. Minecraft. Apparently, there's a movie they're making. They're making a movie on Minecraft, and I think Jack Black is in it. Mm. So it might be passable. But Jack. yeah. Oh no, Peach. You're so cool. Why? didn't have to. Peaches, 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 peaches. It's going to be online right now. That Great. song does not go away after you think it. It really doesn't. It's like the song that doesn't end, but. <laughs> Anyway, so getting into the week. Don't forget this coming Saturday, the WWA comes back to. We're in Bowling Green. For season premiere. For season premiere, hysteria. where Hysteria is going to be at now. So. And I better get to beat someone up, dang it. I it's hope been so too. Three weeks since I've forearmed anybody in the face real hard. And it's yeah, and I'm getting kind of worried because she gets a little itchy and I don't want to catch one. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, so hopefully there's been a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a whole lot of other things. So just remember, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of good noise and stuff and things. And we and Beretta and whoever else is going to be on, see you next week. Goodbye. Okay,